Hello and welcome to the very first CBC Let's Play. Um, well, I suppose it's not really the first, but it's the first one that I'm talking about while something's happening on screen. Uh, I'm not actually in the CBC official server right now. I'm actually in a single player mode because I'm testing out features for 1.6.2. Um, we are working on the server. We're going to have a portal adventure. And I'm just going to show you some of the features that I'm working on in offline mode at the moment to um, later implement into the server once Bucket upgrades to have a beta version of their 1.6.2 plugin. Uh, so as you can see, I'm just testing out a few features. You can see some of the textures here that I've been working on. Um, I've been working on these from scratch, just pulling images off Google and... Well, I suppose not really even from scratch then, but... Either way, I'm just going to show you today some of the sounds that I'm working on for the um, for the portal maps. It's suggested that when you hear sounds and GLaDOS is talking to you, that you stop and listen, because the further away you get from these sounds, the um, the quieter they get. And as you progress through the map, towards the end of certain sounds, you will hear important information. So, yeah, so let's play the first sound. Oh, it's frozen. It's not done this before, I'm assuming it's because I've got the recording software open, but... Okay, it should be playing. Welcome to Aperture Science. Back before the event, Aperture Science was leading the way in all fields of science and technology. Now many centuries later, we are recovering technology in science, relearning what once was lost. By continuing on further, you are legally agreeing to participate in Aperture's test subject program. The tests may be dangerous. And once you begin you will not be able to leave until the tests are completed. If you manage to complete the tests, you will be rewarded with cake. Yeah, so as you can see, we'd, uh, the original idea was to just pull out sound files from the games themselves and reuse them. But as I started working on the levels with uh, Dan, we was going to be, it, look, it was obvious that we was coming up with our own story for what the backstory of this adventure map was, so I decided to get some text-to-speech software and some audio plugins and work on recreating the Lado's voice without actually having to use an actress. And I think it came out pretty good, this play the next Your sound. consent to participate has been noted, and your friends and family if you even have any are being notified. Do not expect to see them again anytime soon. Everyone here at Aperture Science salutes your bravery and sacrifice for science. So yeah, GLaDOS is... One of the hardest things about this is trying to keep her character intact and I'm hoping that we've managed to do that, just... Now that the script is out of the way, I should probably tell you. No one ever gets out. It's useless. You are going to die down here. Just like all the other humans died. Well, when I killed them that is. Oh well. Time for science. Are you ready? Yeah. I don't care. Okay. Maybe I will help you if you do what I say. Oh, good. But don't count on it. Okay. I killed them you know, and... I am going to kill you. Shit. So, yeah, GLaDOS is going to kill me, apparently. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the things we've decided with, rather than um, re-going over the, her character, starting her off sounding nice but sarcastic, we've decided to just throw it in way, way, way after Portal 3. This is set way after the apocalypse of Portal 2. And uh, she's mad and wants to kill the humans so yeah uh, let's play the next sound this is an aperture science portal gun it is very expensive you can only place portals on the plain white panels around this room but go ahead and try to place them on other surfaces you never know i could be lying do you know I am sure there are other surfaces that can have portals placed on them, but I forget, or perhaps I choose not to remember. Whichever it is, it doesn't help you now, does it? I guess not. 
But um, yeah, GLaDOS is going to be talking. We're introducing Ratman as well. We'll be having that. Well and, uh, done. Ooh. You completed the first test. Did I? The zombie pigman only just beat your speed record. You should be very proud. For an idiot, hidden, I mean he has brain damage after all. And this half pig. Don't expect to pass this test as easily as the last one. I am not going to spoon feed the solution to you. Not this time, and not this solution. It altogether depends on whether I get bored and decide to feed you neurotoxin solution. I could use the air vents. Or maybe I could use the nanobots floating around in your rooms already burrowing into your brain. Shit. I believe I may have accidentally revealed some confidential information regarding nanobots. Disregard my last statements. There are no nanobots burrowing into your skull. Oh, that's right. And then. if they were, they would be completely harmless. Hmm. Well, as you can see, I've, um... Been working on textures Did you the hear that? Down. No? Well then, carry on. Yeah, so um, I've been working on the textures for the portal gun, which at the moment is just a brewing stand. That's because the plugin that we use actually uses a brewing stand as a um, sort of a fill in item for the portal gun. Uh, but with our text, with our resource pack, you will see it as a portal gun, as you can see on the screen. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out actually. It's uh, yeah, but the puzzle should be fun. Uh, we also we're working on repulsion gel, which is fantastic. Um, it's another plugin. Uh, we've got portal boots, so the high falls won't kill you. Um, the repulsion gels we've got, obviously, we've got the blue one and we've got the orange one, so they both work just as they do in Portal Two. Like the blue one lets you bounce, and the orange one lets you go fast. Um, the portal mechanics all seem to be pretty similar as well. Like speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. And uh, yeah, it's it's all pretty cool. Um, I look forward to actually demonstrating it with some of you guys when you actually come and play on the server. Obviously, at the moment, as we had the Griever, nobody can build apart from the Ops. But um, when you want to play the map, uh, you'll basically you'll have to play it at first when other people are around, so we can monitor you to make sure you're not just destroying it. Uh, but yeah, you should be able to play it and we'll be backing up the server regularly so eventually people will be able to just play it on their own but um, yeah should be a lot of fun I mean if you played the first games you'll totally understand how to do it there'll be maps that are very similar to the original games and there'll be maps that are pretty original where we'll be mixing well as original as you can get there's only a certain number of actually I suppose there's an infinite number of puzzles you can do with portals really and uh, the plugins work fantastically well and I look forward to playing it with you guys. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it.